All right, so we're gonna start by uh, pre-installing the bolts that hold the neck on through uh, this top hole here. Then we'll get the neck. We're gonna start by aligning the uprights from the stand with these grooves in the neck, and then align the bolt holes. Start with one, and get that threaded in partially. Then move on to the other side and tighten that up. Then we're going to tighten that until it snugs up against the upright of the base. And that side secure. We'll go back to this first side, tighten that one as well. We're just going to snug that up. There are three straps that hold these tubings to the foot pump to the uprights of the stand. We're just going to velcro them on so that they're securely attached but not too snug that it uh, pinches off the tubing. There you go. Alright, to assemble the head onto the neck, we're going to take this elastic cord and thread it through the hole in the neck here and just slide it until it's flush up against the neck. Then we're going to pull on this end of the cord until the knot extends past the tube, lift up into the notch and let it rest on top of the tube there. You can tuck the rest of the cord into the tube to keep it out of the way. Next thing is to fill the circulatory system reservoir here. We're going to pull that out, remove the cap, and then fill it most of the way up with water. And stop there for now. Place it back in the cavity here and then pump the foot pump slowly several times. Until the water starts to come out that top hole, you can see it coming up there. So we'll stop now, fill the container back up, this is to within about an inch of the top here, screw the cap back on nice and tight, it's seated in there. Now we're going to flip it over. So to get the air all the way out of the system, the, the plumbing inside of the injection trainer here, we're going to actually tip it onto its nose. If you're on a concrete surface or uh, something that might scratch up the uh, fiberglass that the head's made out of here, you can take a foam pad just to protect the nose. So I'm going to do that even though we're on carpeting here. And we'll just carefully tip it over until it rests just like that. Then we can take our foot pump and compress it about 10 times until we get all the air out of the system. Once there are, no, there are no more bubbles coming through, you can bring it back up under the legs. If the water coming back into this reservoir is above the water level in here, it might make quite a bit of sound, which will pretty obviously tell the student when the heart is beating. So what we can do is just remove the reservoir, and fill it so that it's above that line of tubing coming in the top. Tighten the lid back on.